What's up guys, I'm Christy with Oak Hill Millworks and today we are going to show you some behind the scenes for how to do your own DIY shiplap wall. Sometimes before you get started building up a project, you actually have to tear down. So where we're at right now with the project, we've already removed all the trim that was underneath the stairwell and the baseboard, as well as the legs and the pediment that were above the door. Now we're at the point in the project where we need to locate our studs. We're gonna use this stud finder to move it against the wall, locate our studs so that when it's time to put the shiplap boards up, we can nail straight through the face of the board and get a nice secure fasten to our wall. Here's how this works. You're going to push the button on the side, let it calibrate, and then you just slowly start to slide it on your wall. You're gonna see this arrow form when you get the beep, you would mark it, and then you would continue in the same direction until it starts to disappear. Move it back, and when you get that next arrow, that's the other side of your stud. So you would mark that side as well, and then find your center point. That's the center of your stud. All right, so once you have all your studs marked with just small marks, and we've already laid this out, but you would grab a four foot roll to just get a straight edge and mark your studs the whole way up. This will make it a lot easier on you later on. After your studs are laid out, you wanna take your measuring tape, and the best way to start with a shiplap wall is from the bottom and work your way up. So go all the way to the edge, all the way to where the legs on your door are going to be. If you don't have legs, just bump it all the way up to your door jamb. So for us, ours are around 103 inches. So I'm gonna make that cut and get started. All right, so we got our first piece already cut down. Right now we're just gonna do a test fit and make sure we are in the right place. For this particular project, we are choosing to build out our door jam. So now that I have the right length, I have a good reference point for where this door jam will get nailed up. So the reason we're building the door jam out is because we have a three quarter inch depth on this shiplap. If we weren't to build the, sh the door jam extension out, we would lose the detail and the depth that comes with the door trim. All right, so in this project, we also bumped out our electrical box because we don't want to lose the depth on that either. Make sure you turn off the power while adjusting your electrical box. Don't ask me how I know. All right, so some people just choose to nail their boards to the studs. We're gonna also put some liquid nails on it, just a simple line, nothing major. That's gonna give it the extra insurance it needs. It doesn't need much. This first board in place. Always a good idea to continue to check for level running horizontally with your boards throughout your project. For this one, I'm gonna make sure I do two nails, one more towards the top and one more towards the bottom just to get a more even nailing in the stud. Hey, who, uh, who moved that? Who moved the uh, air blower gauge? Was that uh, one of my friends? <laughs> this job is a lot easier when you have a helping set of hands. This is Steve from Baird Brothers. He is my helper today. Say hello, Steve. How's everybody doing? <laughs> Looks like you're making progress, Chris. Coming along. 
I think originally I thought I was just gonna use a contour gauge and butt this stuff up against my door trim. And then after realizing I would lose the depth of my door trim and the detail there, prying all the trim off was actually, it wasn't difficult, but it was uh, time consuming. Definitely doable. Okay, so here's where we're at in the process. We've built out our door jam extensions and we've got a couple boards up so far. This is the pre-primed poplar from Baird Brothers. This stuff goes up really nicely and if you scratch it up a little bit, it's all right because you still are gonna paint it afterwards. We also brought out our outlet three quarter inch so that it would be nice and flush with the front of the shiplap wall. We are going to keep putting boards up on the wall. Eventually we'll get to a point where we can start laying down our trim. This is the fun part. It's like putting a big puzzle together. All right guys, so for this piece, we are going to test fit it first because we wanna make sure it fits around this door jam extension before we go gluing and nailing. We use the jigsaw to cut around and it looks really good. So we're gonna go ahead and glue and nail. Okay, last piece is tricky. The ceiling isn't totally level, which is pretty typical in an old house. So we cut a little tapered piece on the bandsaw. <laughs> With a smiley. Oops, that's all right. If you have that, if you have a little blowout there at the top, trim's gonna cover that, no big deal. Watch the rings. Okay, so we have our entire shiplap wall installed and now it's time to start working on the trim pieces. So here's where we're at. We've done some lattice pieces towards the top to frame out our shiplap wall. And then we did one down the side as well. What we're finding is, and this is part of doing it yourself at home, you're going to run into issues that you kind of have to troubleshoot as you go. What we're finding is this overhang is not the same the whole way down. It's not a big deal. We're just gonna use caulking to make a nice seam the whole way up. Making sure it's not going anywhere. All right guys, well that wraps up our DIY shiplap wall. As you can see, it's looking incredible. This is easily a weekend project. Before today, I spent time taking all the trim off. And as you can see, the trim around our door looks fantastic. We chose not to use a contour gauge. We chose to bump everything out that three quarter inch. And we kept checking for level as we went throughout our project. So you can see all of our lines look really nice and straight across. Huge improvement already for this wall in our home. Next up, as you can see, we have all of our nail holes. We're gonna get some wood filler, fill those in. It's already primed. We'll just do some painting. We have some trim to paint. We're gonna have a nice shiplap wall in our home that we did ourselves with help from our friends at Bear Brothers.